Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of The Outer Worlds. Uh, she just told me, yeah, if you're wondering why her eyes are that way, she just got a good cleaning from Sam, so, yeah. We'll leave it at that. So, she said I got a call from someone from in, from Roseway. Welcome back, Captain. I don't know if I it's here or not. I received a transmission yeah, there from Roseway from a Dr. Shaw. Beginning playback now. What? Oh, is this on? Oh, it's on right now. Oh, blast. I remember Hello? That. I'm trying to reach the captain of the Unreliable. I'll keep this short, lest I get caught. Please return to Roseway as soon as you can. I have an item of great value that you'll be interested in. Awesome. Now, how do I... How does this blasted thing turn off? <laughs> Damn, engineers never label these toggles clearly. Is it the... The transmission is complete, Captain. I'm in the mood for him. All right. Thanks. See you soon, Captain. Yes. Yes, you will. Captain, what? I hope you made the right decision by siding with MSI. Oh, shush. Okay, now then. Let's get out of here. We gotta take Felix and I will take Ellie. That's what, that's what we're doing. What the journal we're doing is uh, this one there. Friendships do. Clyde Harlow, an old friend of Felix from his early days on the Groundbreaker, wants to meet him in person. Harlow told Felix he wants him to be a part of a revolutionary project. He never told me that. Uh, bring Felix to meet with Harlow. Felix wants to meet Harlow in person. Travel to landing pad on Skillia, which we, and to have a chat with him. That's what we're doing. We're here. So Ellie's party stays, and there's Felix. And uh, let's go. Alrighty, we're here. Ooh, that's a nice little ship over there. I don't know what's. Let me see. Okay. So let's head down. Somebody here. Volker. Let's see what this guy wants. Hey, you. Looking for something? Yeah. Where do you think you're going? Wherever I want. See this milestone's with me. Intimidate. Through you if you push me. Yeah. Hey, nice form. Good delivery too. <laughs> you're looking to join Captain Harlow's crew, huh? Alright, go on through. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's just get. Don't mess with me. Uh, Got uh, my sights on you. Yeah, I don't need Better be careful. We got over here. Oh. Okay, well, I can't go that way, I guess. I guess I can go this way. What's over here? Nice ship. Alright, so, let's go inside. Take it. Oh. Mine. <laughs> I'm a I'm a I don't want anything else in here. Oh wow, I'm glad you didn't see me. Discovered a machine. That machine Forward. stole my fish. Why do we even have one of these? The vendor, we will sell some stuff while I'm here. That. Uh, no, it's ten. Wow, that's actually pretty good. I'm holding on to that one. And think of it that, one. that I'm holding on to. Wait, no, you know what? Forget it. Let's keep going. Let's see if we can find this place or this person. They're over there. Looks like we found something here. Logs, acquisition logs. This is everything werewolf? Freighter, oh, freighter werewolf parts. Huh, as usual, we were able to inter intercept these ships despite how cleverly m they masked their heat signatures. Our patron pulled through again with that tracking data. Don't know how they got their hands on it, but we're in no position to refuse charity. Hmm. Crew doing that? Wow. Look at all that stuff they did. Alright. Crew, I'm beginning to wonder about our patron. 
when we opened up our scanners and sniffed the system for our latest Wildcat, we picked up a signal from a corporate freighter nearby. It was hauling ten times more cargo than our target. No sooner did we scan it than a message came through ordering us to go after the Wildcat instead. Something doesn't add up. Until I get answers, stay skeptical. Harlow. Open last entry. Rule one. Harlow's the boss. Two. F the board. Three. Why are you still reading this, pig? <laughs> Wake up. If you're seeing this, the board already owns you. You went looking for the rules. Why? Because life's a game to you. Life's a game to you? Maybe you like play maybe you like being played. You guzzle down that sense of security like it's purple berry flavored opium. F rules and F terminals. It's not a revolution if we're using the weapons they raise against us time and time again, from the front lines of the riots to the corporate sit ins and error. Pirate took okay. Yeah, here. It's an error. Let's keep going. There's Mar Wait. That's Marl, that's Harlow. Okay. <laughs> Got confused. Well, hey there, Hullhead. Clawed your way out of the groundbreaker at long last? Uh-huh. Oh, sorry, were you expecting me to say something? Maybe a long time no see, or a you've aged old man. Hmm, no, it's fine. I'll do my introduction. Dylan, Harlow, Harlow, Dylan. Your captain has a sense of humor, Felix. Good. There's a time and place for humor. So, you took Felix under your wing. Kept him busy. Good. Kid always needed a place to belong. I don't know what you're trying to say, but he's earned his keep with us. You're that, Clyde? I've been making something out of myself. So long as you haven't been making a fool of yourself. I'm sure Felix has no end of stories to tell of your exploits together. I look forward to catching up with the boy. We have to play now. Tell me why we're here. I'm working on something. Something big. Something the likes of which Halcyon has never seen. And I want Felix to be a part of my initiative. I'm fulfilling a promise I made to the boy. That one day, he and I would change the colony together. That day has finally arrived. Easy there, Clyde. No one said nothing about throwing in with you. In case you didn't notice, I'm pretty happy where I am. I'm not asking you to walk away from your captain, Felix. But neither should you allow yourself to be controlled by fear. Change is not to be feared. I brought you here because I want to know where Felix's loyalties lie. When the day of our revolution comes, I want to know that I can rely on him. You want to put him through a test. They allow me to line you, Felix, loyal to me. You expect me just to hand over my own crew? Go after yourself. Good luck. He's the least... I'm not going to say that. That's what Everyone in my crew proves their loyalty. No exceptions. Not even Felix. But he's not I want you to deal with a traitor for me. Name's Trask. Kill him and bring me proof of his death. His ring should do nicely. What does Trask do to deserve death? How, you can't control your own people, Harl? Let's pretend I take care of your problem. What happens after that? Well, you know what, what did he do, yeah? Ratted us out to the board. He's been an informant, has been for years. When he realized I was onto him, he and his little cadre mutinied. Killed five of my own and tucked tail. I don't know where he's hiding, but his wife might, Rosanna. Lives on the groundbreaker last I checked. Rosanna knows my crew by name and face, but you're a stranger to her. She'll talk to you. I will take it. Yeah, what do you think, Felix? Clyde offered me a hand when nobody else would. I'd say I owe him a good turn. There you have it, Captain. A favor for an old friend. There's more to this than you went on. You think so? Maybe we should have a word with Trask. Get his side of the story first. You'd be wasting your breath bandying words with that traitor. But if it makes you feel better, by all means. Remember, I want proof. Bring me his ring. I don't care if the hand's still attached. Here, my token. Think of this as my personal signature. Anyone who knows me by my works will know me by this token. Okay. How old do you know, Felix? Yeah. Well enough. It's been a few years, but... I still remember a thing or two. You had a chip on your shoulder. You'd argue over anything and you never back down. What do you mean had? And for the record, you never could admit when you lost an argument. 
You see what I had to deal with? Not the hospital, Alex. Let's hear it. Yes. You said you were working on something big. A revolution is the work of a lifetime, Captain. I've spent my life preparing for the day of Halcyon's reckoning. Everything you see around you is the result of that preparation. A base of operations, loyal soldiers, freedom from the board's oversight. Sounds like you've got some plan to overthrow the board. So you're a band of outlaws living on the edge of the asteroid. Some revolution. What makes you think you're free? Let's just, you know what? Sounds like you got some plans. Yeah. Hardly. The board is rotting from the inside. Tomorrow, next year, a generation from now, eventually, the board will fall to pieces. Entropy is the natural state of the universe, Captain. All systems inevitably dissolve. When that day comes to Halcyon, we will be ready. All right. So you're a band of outlaws living on the edge of an asteroid for some revolution. Not all revolutions involve bloodshed and fire, Captain. The purest act of rebellion is to live according to one's own means, mm -hmm. independent of any masters. One day, when the board is weak and Halcyon vulnerable, we may claim a piece of this system for ourselves. Until then, we bide our time. All right, what makes you think you're free? The skies around Scylla are curiously absent of patrol ships. It's almost as if the board's sphere of influence is shrinking. Besides, our facility is well armed and located on defensible terrain. If the board tries to lay siege to us, we'll make them pay. Let's change the Something on your mind? Yes. Something else I'd like to ask you. Felix tells me you disappeared one day. I was working on this plan for years. Saving every bit I could, drawing plans, biding my time. I never intended to spend my life laboring on the groundbreaker. When the opportunity presented itself, I did what I had to do. I left. You might have said something. I had some ugly business in Scylla. If I told you, I would have implicated you. You want to elaborate on that? Hephaestus controlled mining operations all over Scylla. Most of these operations failed. The company pulled out and abandoned their facilities. Mostly abandoned, anyway. This one was running on a skeleton crew. My associates and I seized control in a matter of minutes. All right, that's it for now. So we are going to head. Is that thing smiling at me? So let's get going here. So, journal, we got to go to the groundbreaker. So, app. Map there. I can't. Oh. All right. Is there another floor here? Well, that's weird. It's where is it? What's in here? Oh, okay. This is the way out. All right. My ship. Where's the button? Am I on it? I am on it. Oh, you're in front of it. All right. Why didn't I discover it before? That's weird. All right. Causing disturbance on the ship. Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. You're adjusting before you pull. Oh. Anticipate me. You. Of course I'm anticipating it. What if I shoot a friend on accident? Hey. That's on account of your stance. You no. Lean into it. Embrace All right, no. It. They're just Perfect. talking about shooting the gun. I've seen it before. They don't say nothing. No. All right, so we're going to the groundbreaker. She doesn't even shoot the gun. She acts like she does. Weird. Yes. There we go. The Groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. Okie dokie, let's get going. I think I still have Ellie with me, right? Ellie. And Felix. Yeah, we'll keep that. Continue. Alright, we're here. Let's go talk to Rosanna. Rosanna, Rosanna. Mm -hmm. I heard it today, actually. Enough. 
open up. Man, every time I come in here, it looks crazy. Lava. With caramel and pea-free nuts. Oh my god, I sound good. I'm hungry. Just hear them talking about food. And there she is. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. What story? Do you have what it takes to defend your corporate township from the dangers of alien wildlife and the unemployed? Talk to your local manager about applying for military training and lend your life to protecting our wonderful brands and products. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm going to be doing that. Military service does not guarantee full employment rights, tax breaks, military discount, <laughs> health benefits, military burial, participation medal, training, or weapons. Okay. You've been listening to Halcyon News, your mandated duty as a good citizen of Halcyon. All right. Hey, Rosanna. You mind trying to have a moment here? Yeah, holding the wall up. Your task breaks up when you talk. I'm looking for a guy named Rufus Trask. That's all he lives around here. Wait, a minute, let me ask that. Are you Rosanna Trask? Yeah, I was called that once upon a day. You need something? Well, you could say that. I'm looking for a guy named Rufus Trask. I'm totally living around here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking for a guy by the name of Rufus Trask. Totally lives around here. Rufus and I are no longer on speaking terms. I don't oh. know where he is. And if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Well, that's not cool. Well, then, uh, if you know where Trask is, you want to tell me. I'm on the level. You can ask Julian about me. Carlos sent me to find him. Yeah, I'm on level. You can ask Julian about me. You're telling me you're on a first-name basis with Ms. Tennyson? Yep. I'm not one of Carlos' thugs, trust me. All right. I'm going to take your word for it. <laughs> Rufus is hiding out in Emerald Vale. Got a few friends with him. That's as much as I know. Gotcha. A few more questions. Please, just make it quick. All right. You and Trask split up? That's right. Our marriage contract expired some months ago. Contract. And seeing how he's technically an outlaw, I wouldn't renew even if I wanted to. How much do you know about Harlow? Precious little. He and Rufus worked together on the Groundbreaker some years back before he vanished. A few years later, Rufus gets a message from an old friend. Something about starting a revolution. Yeah, something that about sounds getting rich. Very he familiar. He his work and ran off that very day. Sounds familiar, Felix. He must have been recruiting. Gathering up his band of revolutionaries. Word of advice, kid? Anybody carrying on about a revolution just wants to sell you something. I don't know Harlow. Never so much as bandied a word with the fellow. You're better off having this discussion with Rufus. Harlow tells me Trask betrayed him. Do you know anything about that? Only that Rufus is in a bad way. He came to see me a little ways back. Said he had to go into hiding. Never asked why. He was here to collect his personals, complain about Harlow to me, and say goodbye. In that order. He didn't tell you anything about Harlow. No, and he was particular about that. Said I was better off not getting entangled in his mess. Little late for that, says I. Says you. That's all I want to know. I'll leave you be. Appreciate it. No offense meant. Just been a long day is all. It's all good. All right, crew. Let's go see if we can find a... It's Harlow. Do -do 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 oh, wait. Slap your old family tonight <laughs> with some lemon slap. <laughs> all right, back we go. We're running all over the place, aren't we? All right, here we go. All righty. Some crew members are calling yes, to see yes, some Yes, yes, yes. I know. I'm not even gonna look. There it is, Terra Two. And yeah, Edgeway Edgewater landing pad. Away we go. We are now in orbit above Edgewater, Captain. Okie dokie. Keep the same people. That works. 
Okie dokie. We're here. Now we gotta front tr con confront Trask. So where is he on this map? If it pops up. There it is. Way over there. So I can move. We'll fast travel there. Yeah. Alright. Where is it? It's over there. So I think we gotta go this way. If I'm not mistaken, we gotta go around this thing. The botanical gardens or whatever you wanna call it. So, we're there, so, yeah, it looks like we do. Alright, botanical lab. So, I'm guessing this is this way. I'm thinking. At least I hope. I heard a noise. <laughs> Maybe it is this way, let's see. Make him regret it. Where? Oh, I didn't even see them. Got and you're getting in my way, Felix. Oh, you ended them? Yeah. Wow, you guys now killed that was me. Easy. Alright. There a guy over here. Alright, so let's look at the map again. How am I supposed to get over there? Um... I don't see a way. Unless... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, look at those big boys. Down dead. they go! Let's show them! You're dead. Oh, I like fighting these guys. They're much easier than they used to be. All right. <laughs> Freaked me out. I don't even care about that. Let's go in here real quick. I think we were here before. No, we weren't. Wow. All right, we weren't here before. Cool. Let's get going. Find our way around here. Alright, we're coming up on this place. There they are. Alright, doesn't look like they're enemies, so. Similar shit they had. In front of us. Hey guys, I'm just gonna walk into your camp. I don't know who you are or why you're prowling around here, but I'm willing to make a guess. You're one of Harlow's gun hands, ain't you? He sent you after me. That's right, Harlow. That's right, Harlow said you betrayed him. What makes you think I work for Harlow? Your wife told me- No, I'm not saying that. No, I'm not gonna be that here. That's right, Harlow said you betrayed him. Yeah, of course he did. Thing is, you and I are at an impasse. Harlow wants me dead, and I've got no intention of dying. Okay. Why did you betray Harlow? Harlow wants your ring as proof of your death. That's all I'm going after. Why did Harlow Yeah, why did you betray Harlow? How do I know that I can trust you? What's the worst that could happen? Harlow sent a stranger with a gun after you. If I wanted to kill you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Yeah, guess that's a fair point. Listen, I don't know what lies Harlow's dripped down your ear, but you'd be a fool to trust him. I never betrayed Harlow. Harlow betrayed all of us. The board's got him in their pocket, been paying him off for years. All the palaver about revolutions? It's a lie. Really? You're a real piece of work, Trask. Not just a turncoat, but a liar, too. Go piss up a rope, kid. I've got nothing to prove to you. That's the whole truth. Harlow's just another board asset. A two-bit mercenary wearing a dissident's clothes. You're asking me to take your word? Show me evidence. I'm not going to kill you, Trask, but I'm going to ask you for your ring. Hold on, you got some explaining to. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. You're asking me to take your word. Show me evidence. Yeah, I've got proof. There's always a paper trail when the board's involved. I chanced upon some correspondence between Harlow and his employer. I don't know that it makes a difference. What was I to do with that evidence? Bring it in front of the board? There's no authority in Halcyon willing to take Harlow to task. Yeah, there it is. You're looking at him. Huh. 
You ain't like other board agents I heard about. You got a functioning spine. You want to confront Harlow yourself? Be my guest. I hid my papers before Harlow chased me out. Back in the middle of the base, there's an old vent in a utility corridor. I stashed my evidence in that vent. All right. Why would the board buy off Harlow? And what was Harlow doing for what? Yeah, why would the board buy off Harlow? Because he's for sale. Anything the board can buy, the board will buy. And that includes loyalty. Harlow was a charismatic bastard, and he was ruthless. With Harlow in their pocket, the board had an informant, a pirate, a smuggler, and a gang leader all rolled up into one odious excuse for a human being. Sounds like a deal to me. All right, what was Harlow doing for the board? Board sanctioned piracy. Harlow went after the ships the board wanted destroyed, capturing anybody the board wanted captured. If we captured you, we'd ransom you. Harlow liked to do the job himself, gather up the captives on his own ship, vanish for a couple of days. Only that's not what happened. Harlow's been selling his captives off to the board. I don't know where they ended up. Re-education, Tartarus, maybe worse. All right, all right, I've heard enough. Take it, you've made up your mind. I'm not gonna kill you, but I'm gonna ask you for your ring. You gonna tell Harlow I'm dead? May as well. I'm never going back to that life again. Uh, here, take the ring. And for what it's worth, my gratitude. Take care. Fine, Trask, that's what I'm gonna do. So, we need to go to my ship. Which is right here. And there. Yes. Fast travel. Okay, so let. Yes, engage in a heated discussion in the in the kitchen. Crew members Ellie and Max are engaged in a heated discussion in the kitchen. All right, well let's see what's going on. Ellie was just with me a second ago. Hey, Max. Yes. You really think we all have a purpose? That everything happens for a reason? I used to think that, but not anymore. Then, wait. Why do you sound so calm? Aren't you getting annoyed? Not in the least. But I do apologize, Dr. Fenil. It sounds like I have annoyed you. Fine. Be that way. <laughs> He's changed. That is for sure. He is definitely not the same guy. That's of a jerk, that's for sure. And Ellie, they can't understand what to make of it. That, that's obvious. I took care of it. Let's go back to Celia. And deal with this Harlow character. Uh, Harlow's base. All right, let's go. I'll lock up behind you. Ah, uh, thank you, Ada. It's there. All right. So the evidence, he's there. God dang it. Ah. <sighs> Let's pick up the evidence, which is right here. What's that? I'll take all that. There's evidence here, but how can I get to it? Oh, man. Unless there's a way over there. We got the evidence. Harlow with Felix. Okay. What's the word? Like I said, Trash had a lot to say about you, Harlow. <laughs> Not surprised. Trask was a dead man trying to negotiate with his own executioner. He'd say anything to preserve his life. Trask told me you've been working with for the board. That's a damning accusation. Am I right to presume you have some evidence on hand? <laughs> you will be right. 
France gave me his word, and I'm inclined to believe. Show him the papers. You've been brought off. I've got the receipts. Those papers don't prove a thing. We've all done business with the board. Oh, they so you own have. the whole damn colony. Trask put you up to this. <laughs> that miserable wretch. He's trying to undermine everything I stand for. When we met, you told me Trask was an informant for the board. You were lying. You've got a lot of nerve calling me a liar to my face. Then I right. No. Come on, Harler. Why would Trask rat you out to your own employers? How should I know? But what the hell do I care? Trask was a traitor. I didn't ask you to understand his motives. I asked you to cross him off. Clyde, look me in the eye and tell me it's not true. Tell me, and I'll believe you. Don't talk to me like I'm some common criminal, Felix. You're the one on trial, not me. Oh, really? I don't know what kind of poison that snake dripped in your ear, but as far as I'm concerned, you've been compromised. Jack Dash is in Taking some stuff. Nothing on him. Yeah, man. What do we got? Lots of stuff. Let me head back and talk to Felix on the ship. Dang, a lot of stuff. Nice. I knew I was going to do that. Okay. There's another one over here. What's... <laughs> Burnt, whatever that is. I'm not worried about that. Take all that. You take that too. All right, let's look around. You got. Let's take the pistol too. Anything over here doesn't look like. Oh, stuff. Nice. Is that here? Nothing. guys and take what we need. Take this. There, got it. Off in here. Oof. Nice. Alright. Okay. What was that? Did I hear something? Looks like we're doing this. Holy crap, they went crazy. I just had to. I, I missed every single person. Let him keep fighting. Nice. These guys didn't stand a chance. It for those guys. Another hour. Done. All right. What happened to that other guy? What is that? Oh, one of those things. Of a different color. What happened to the dude that was sitting out here? Y'all killed him? Well, I guess they did. I just don't know where he's at. Well, maybe that was it. Maybe that's one of these guys here. Well, doesn't look like it. Alright, well, I guess he's gone. Well, I said back to my ship. Looks like we finished off here. Nothing 
else here. Okay. Up we go. We'll talk to Felix on the ship. Oh, I didn't bring it down. That's why I fell. That's right, I fell. Such a ding dong. Up we go. Talk to Felix on the ship. Let's make sure we're talking to Felix on the ship. And speak with him. Yep, you can find a heart on the trash. It looks like we're okay. All right, let's go find Felix. Crew members Ellie and Max are engaged in a heated discussion in the kitchen. Yes, I know. It's the same freaking discussion they had earlier, most likely. Correct. Am I right? Max. Maximilian. Oh no. Vicar. <laughs> Vicky. She's trying to piss yes. him off. Aw, this is no fun anymore. Alright. Sorry, Felix. This is this is definitely not how I imagined it'd end. The void's black, water's wet, and Clyde hated the board. That's something I just knew. Now? I don't know. I don't know what to think. Just gonna have to come in terms with that. You never really know what's going on in someone's skull. Don't look at me, folks. I just, I don't think. I just do things. Yeah. I've just got a lot on my mind right now. This is, uh, this is a lot to take in. Mm -hmm. I always looked up to Clyde. The thought that he could be an agent of the board is just abhorrent to me. It's a big word for you, man. The lesson here is not to look up to anyone. No, I can understand why you're upset. You feel like he betrayed you. Money changes people. The board probably offered her a lot of money. Yeah, I can understand why you're upset. You feel like he betrayed you. Yeah, he did. And I'm not sure how I'm going to get over that. It'll pass. Give it time. Get drunk for a short. <laughs> for a start. Cry me if like your childhood friend let you down. Move on. Nope. I'll, it'll pass. Give it time. I hope so. I don't see this one passing anytime soon. Uh, you've given me a lot to think about. I'm going to be mulling over this whole mess for a couple of days. Part of me wishes we'd put Trask in the ground. You know, I think that's just my frustration talking. Thanks for your time, boss. Woohoo! Level up! No, I never said I did. Everyone ran into me, Ellie. Alright, let's look at the... my skills, which is awesome. Further increase the damage dealt with science weapons. When you are low health, you deal increased damage. That's not bad. After killing an enemy, your weapons... I know. There's something about blood and violence that helps you focus. That's not disturbing at all. The next attack after killing an enemy is a guaranteed critical hit. That's pretty interesting. Further increase your maximum cover. Increase your armor rate and skill bonus for any armor. That was weird. Why? I swear I... Apply. There. Okay. And now we do skills. Wait. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Just confused. All right. Uh, those are pretty good up there. So I think I'm gonna keep going with that. That's up to 81. So we're gonna do the live one. There. Awesome. Apply. Yes. All right. There we go. Felix gained a self-governed perk. Felix, he's a... Really? Self-governed. There it is. Post armor damage dealt. Okay. Nice. Alright. You're getting... Wow. You're getting quite a bit, actually. You lost that ring. Oh, Harl's emblem. Yeah, I get that. Let me just clean... Go, Sam. Clean my ship up. Make it look pretty. Appreciate it. Is it clean here? I can't tell. Well, it might be. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. I hope you like what you saw. Leave a like if you did. And I think my next one is Byzantine. We'll do this that one next. The Star Cross Troopers. I uh, appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, I said it already. And <laughs> leave a like if you like what you saw. And subscribe to continue on watching me and my adventures here in the outer world. Bye-bye.